so cold today so kyle went to work today that's why he's not here right now and it's just me this morning so time to start the day <laughs> I swear there's a view, you just can't really see it from this angle. We have a building right there, so if you look straight you can't see anything. But if you look at an angle, you can see the sky, the trees, someone's backyard. It's quite nice. <laughs> dishwasher open during the night so that once the cycle is once once the cycle is done after we eat dinner we'll just leave it open so that the dishes can dry a little bit better because usually if we just leave it closed all night the dishes will still be really wet in the morning so every single morning every single morning i eat oatmeal and to make that you need oats we keep our oatmeal in this container honey peanut butter cinnamon and an apple i always do three spoonfuls of oatmeal for myself on days that kyle is home and he's not going to the office i'll make him breakfast too but he's not here today so it's a breakfast for one today and then i just add water and then microwave for two and a half minutes. While that's microwaving, I'm gonna wash and chop my apple. I always eat green apples. I love Granny Smith apples. They are the best type of apple. Now the oatmeal's done. Perfect. Mm, I love that consistency. And then this is actually a lot of apples, so I'm gonna put it in a little container to use tomorrow. And store it in the fridge. Okay, so here's how I like to make my oatmeal. I always take a hearty spoonful of peanut butter. <laughs> I like a lot, like that much. Plop it on top. Add the apples next, some cinnamon, and honey. Drizzle it all over the top. Voila! Mmm, look how good that looks! I've literally been eating this every day for the past, I want to say like nine months. I used to do overnight oats, if you guys remember from my really old vlogs from last year. We used to do overnight oats every night. We would prepare them, then eat it the next morning. But I don't know, I kind of just love putting everything together the morning of and having a nice warm bowl of oatmeal, especially since it's usually cold in the morning. So having this nice warm bowl is so satisfying. Okay, let's eat. Actually, I want to make a matcha today. So let's make some matcha. All right, I put some water in our kettle and I'm gonna heat the water to, I think, 175 or so. Yep. And just let it boil. While I wait, I'm gonna start on the matcha. So this is a matcha that we use. We got it from Costco. It's pretty good, but I think the flavor is not as strong for ours because I accidentally kept the bag open like it wasn't sealed properly. So I feel like the flavor kind of, it kind of lost its flavor because of that, but that's okay. We still have a bit more, so I just want to use it up. I got this little matcha kit that comes with like, oh, the water's boiling. Can you hear it? So it comes with a strainer, a little wood spoon, and the wood whisk. So I usually take like one, maybe one and a half spoons. Okay, and then I just sift it through this little sifter. I don't do this all the time, but I'm gonna do it for the video today because I think it's cool. So pretty. 
I don't know why I said pretty. So the water's ready now, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit and then whisk the powder until it's kind of frothy. You're supposed to do it in like a W motion, like back and forth, not in a circular motion so that more of the powder dissolves. Okay, mine is not frothing at all. <laughs> But to be honest, I don't really like it frothy anyway, so this is, I think, perfect for me. I'm just check to see if all the powder is dissolved. I think it is. I'm gonna add more water. And then I'm gonna add some ice cubes. I got this heart ice cube tray a couple months ago and it's so cute. The ice is just gonna completely dissolve because the water's so hot, but that's okay. I just want it to cool down a little bit. Yeah, the ice has completely dissolved already, but that's okay. At least now I can handle it more because I can't handle hot temperatures. Like, I'm really sensitive to that. Mm, it's perfect. Let me know if you prefer matcha or coffee in the mornings. I'm definitely a matcha girl. Mm, okay, let's eat breakfast. clearly a mess but we're going to ignore that for now i'm going to clean it up later after i finish breakfast but yeah while i enjoy my breakfast i usually just watch a youtube video sometimes too many youtube videos and then i'm like oh shit it's been an hour and i still haven't done any work but yeah that's what i'm gonna do now enjoy my breakfast and drink my matcha and watch some youtube videos Now let's go brush our teeth, do our skincare, and just get ready for the day. So usually I'll just keep watching the YouTube video that I was watching if I didn't finish it while I was eating breakfast or I'll listen to music. But I think today I'm going to listen to music because I'm going to go see BTS in three days in Vegas and I can't wait. So I've just been listening to their songs lately so I can like not prepare because like I already know them all <laughs> but but just keep the excitement up. Okay, skincare time, my favorite time of the day. So last night I think I over exfoliated because my face is looking really red and splotchy today. Yeah, my cheeks especially and a little bit around my jaw is looking really red and sensitive. So I'm just gonna be super gentle with it today. Let's start. I'm first gonna wash my face with this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. <laughs> washing their face at the sink like I very much prefer to wash my face in the shower but I don't take morning showers I am a night shower and I do wash my face in the shower at night but not in the morning but I make sure to use lukewarm water when I do that because using hot water on your face is not good but I hate doing it at the sink because I always make a mess and I get water everywhere and it's just not a super pleasant experience so I used to even not wash my face in the mornings because I hated it so much but I just sucked it up and now I'm a little bit used to it <laughs> now I'm using the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence that is a mouthful of a name I love this stuff this is amazing for calming and soothing like irritated skin it's super moisturizing too but yeah I love this stuff so so much it's so like cooling and soothing on my skin especially right now since I don't know if you can tell how red my skin is okay the next step I'm gonna take the Ula Henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer this one has been my favorite moisturizer and I take a little like scooper that I have to scoop out the product this moisturizer was like one of the only moisturizers that didn't sting my skin while I was healing from my allergic reaction Thank you. 
Alright, next I'm going to take the Dr. Jard Ceramidin Cream. I'm just going to focus this on the areas that are really red and irritated. I am feeling really dry and irritated right now. And this is just like a moisture retention shield. So it just like acts as like a top layer to seal in all the moisture that you put on before it. But yeah, I'm really just focusing it on my cheeks right now because that's where it's like the most red and the most sensitive too. Okay, finally the last step is sunscreen. And I'm going to use the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergroup. Okay, I ended up grabbing this one out of the closet because I think I'm gonna keep this one and save it until I go to Vegas because it's smaller and more travel friendly. And I'm just gonna open up my big one. I love this sunscreen because it is literally clear. Like, can you see? It has no color to it, so it does not leave a white cast. And it feels so soft and velvety on my skin. The only downside is because it's invisible, you can't really tell where you put it on your face. So I kind of just have to go by like feeling. And I'll be honest, I don't wear sunscreen every single day. I know you should, but I just don't. Today I feel like I should though because I feel like I need that protection since my skin is feeling really sensitive. So I'm being a good skincare person and putting on sunscreen. <laughs> but yeah, skincare is done. That takes me like 20 minutes. Kind of a long time, but that's my routine. And then I just put everything back in my little skincare shelfie. It is not organized whatsoever. Okay, and then I think I want to also curl my hair today because later today I'm gonna try on my concert outfit and do like my hair and makeup too. Like basically just put on my whole outfit to see and confirm what I'm gonna be wearing. I want to like pretend I'm actually getting ready so I can see the whole thing. So let's curl our hair. This is the curling iron that I like to use. It's the Con Air Infinity Pro. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it below if you're interested. But yeah, I don't know. I like this one because I can curl my hair in like 10 minutes. And the curls last like four days. So I'm just brushing out my hair now. And then I'm gonna put on some heat protectant. This is the one I'm using. It's the Tresemme heat tamer. I feel like this one's really old. I feel like people were using this and talking about this like 10 years ago. But here I am, still using it. Oh, question. I have been struggling a lot with dandruff recently. Like I recently switched shampoos, but it's so bad. It makes my hair really, really dry. Also makes my scalp really dry and itchy. And because it's been so itchy, I've been like scratching it more, you know? Okay, I switched the angle because I feel like I wasn't able to talk to you guys up there. So now you're down here. But anyway, like I was saying, I've been struggling with dandruff. My scalp has been really itchy. And like my dandruff has been really bad. I'll scratch my scalp and chunks, huge chunks of dandruff will just end up floating around in my hair. And it's really bad because my hair is black and the dandruff is white. So it stands out really badly. So yeah, if you guys have struggled with dandruff too and you were able to fix it, please let me know in the comments what you did. I would love to know. took me almost 10 minutes to do. The right side has, or the left side has actually kind of fallen out a little bit. Not too much, like it's still very wavy as you can see. The right side, because it's more fresh, still looks pretty curly. So what I usually do is just let it sit while I do my makeup. And then once I'm done with my makeup, I brush everything out. So now we're gonna do my face. So let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly, but I'm really just gonna do, honestly, probably just brows and curl my eyelashes. I'm not even gonna put on mascara. This is one of those lazy mornings, so I don't wanna do too much. So I'm taking this Arches and Halos Duo Luxury Brow Powder. This is in the color Charcoal. I got this at Target, and I'm just taking a e.l.f. brush. It has a spoolie on one end and a brush on the other. <laughs> Okay, done. Whoa, my face looks really bad. Mm, yeah, I'm having a pretty bad skin day today. It's because I used an exfoliating toner last night, even though my skin was feeling kind of sensitive already. So yeah, I should not have done that because clearly my skin is 
not having it today and i'm not gonna put any like concealer or anything on my skin either because i don't want to irritate it even more so i'm just gonna let my skin breathe today unfortunately that means you guys are gonna have to see me like this for the whole video <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna change into a cute outfit now not that this isn't cute it's just this is my pajamas and i feel like i'm gonna be just lazy in it so i'm gonna change into something that'll help me feel a little bit more productive so i have this matching set from naked that i love and it's one of my favorites it's like super soft and warm and cozy okay here's how the set looks on isn't it so cute? These were actually super long for me. So I ended up cutting off like four inches at the bottom and now it fits me well. And yeah, I love it. So now I'm gonna clean up this whole entire mess. The apartment needs some cleaning up to do as well. There's a lot of stuff just like strewn, strewn around everywhere. So I'm gonna clean up first a little bit before I dive into work. Wow, it feels so good to have a clean, clear desk. All that stuff that you saw at my desk has been piling up for a week. Yeah, I've been just working around it for an entire week, maybe even almost two weeks, honestly. So I'm so glad to be able to see my desk again. So now I'm gonna actually get to work. It's about 10 a.m. right now. Usually I try to get started with my work at like 9.30, but it usually ends up going a little bit over. <laughs> Especially for mornings like today where I actually like get ready and stuff, like do my full skincare, clean up. It just like takes a little bit longer. So now I can finally get started with my day. So I like to start off my work by going on Notion on my agenda and writing down all of my to-do items for the day. So if you've seen my previous Notion videos, you know that I separate each day based on priority. So I have top priority tasks at the top of my list and then my Underneath a little divider, I put my lower priority tasks. So I always do that at the start of each workday so I know what I need to get done that day. So if there's anything from the previous day that I didn't do, I'll just move it over to today. And then if there's anything else, I'll add it to this list. So today I need to take care of some administrative things in the morning, like sending out invoices and checking up on payments. I have some other things on my mind right now too that I'm just gonna drop into my agenda for the rest of the week. Like on Thursday, we have our flood. Friday we have our concert and Saturday we're flying back home. Okay, so I pretty much have my to-do list all done for today. It looks like a lot, but a lot of the things are really quick and easy. Like I just need to send like an email for. So I'm gonna take care of all of those first. And, and then what I usually do is if I need to film some videos for clients, I'll spend the morning looking through TikTok and finding any trends or trending audios that I can use for my videos. And for anyone new here, I'm a freelance TikTok content creator. So I work with brands to create TikToks for their accounts. So usually I'll spend the morning coming up with content ideas and then I'll spend the afternoon actually filming everything. Filming and editing the videos together. And then I'll send the videos to the brand for review by the end of the day. So yeah, that's usually how my days go. So now the admin tasks that I need to take care of are sending invoices, following up on payments, and following up on schedules for Q2. Super fun. <laughs> tasks are done. Now I'm gonna spend who knows how long scrolling TikTok and trying to find trends and come up with content ideas. And yes, that means I can just like watch TikToks for however long it takes for me to come up with an idea. Sometimes it takes me five minutes. Other times it takes me like an hour. Sometimes it's just hard to find a trend, you know, especially one that will actually work. That's the thing that matters. It also definitely contributes to my crazy amount of screen time on my phone. Guess how much screen time you think I average per week? Okay, I'll just tell you. Last three weeks, it's been about eight hours and 30 minutes. Yikes. <laughs> it sounds like a lot. A couple months ago, actually, it used to be up to 10 hours, almost 11 hours. Um, and that's when I was like, okay, I need to fix this. So it's improved a little bit. Um, so I'll be here for the next 
however long. Okay you guys, so it's been about an hour since I've been just scrolling on TikTok. I have a few ideas, but I'm about to eat lunch now. It's a little past 12, so my morning is now officially over, and that brings us to the end of my morning routine. But I'll show you what I'm eating for lunch. This is what I eat for lunch pretty much every day as well. I have arugula, quinoa, grilled chicken breast. We just buy the pre-cooked pre-sliced pack from Costco. Roasted red bell peppers, also pre-canned, pre-sliced. And Trader Joe's Mediterranean feta cheese sprinkled on top. I also make the dressing fresh every day. So it's a combination of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, pepper, and salt. I mix all of that together, drizzle it on top, mix it all up, and then enjoy. And this has been my favorite salad. I think we've been eating this for at least six months every day yeah i love the salad i've also got my filming set up here i'm gonna film some tiktoks for some clients so i have it set up so that i can jump right in after i finish eating my salad so i've got the product a backdrop my table my tripod and my studio light all ready to go once i'm done eating also i feel like my skin is looking better it's been a few hours since i did my skincare routine and i think my skin is looking less red so i think my routine is definitely working but yeah that is it for my morning routine i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like if you did and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>